hey guys welcome back to my channel um to alamo tv if you are new to this uh, fun side um please subscribe subscribe so that you'll be part of this family yes it is a uh, alamo family up in here okay and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post something new also click the like share button and comment as well okay if you enjoy the video comment let me know what you like the most about this look okay yes so as you notice something new you're seeing um the video is sped up that's just to save time on editing as well as the poor internet service offered here in grenada uh, it will take forever to upload so just to save me from going insane <laughs> I decided to speed up this video okay in this video I'm going to copy the look done on Miss Amara La Negra a beautiful Latina um, singer slash actress slash um, personality um, the Juvia's Place uh, uh, makeup or uh, make the makeup artist at Juvia's Place did her makeup and I saw it on Facebook today and and I decided to just use her look as my inspiration so let's get started shall we all right so first things first I came on camera with my face already primed I used the Becca uh, primer it's my favorite primer it's a mattifying primer and it does what it says okay Hence why my face took a bit white and gray on on camera. It's the it's the it's the Becca primer, okay. Now after priming my face, I added a, a tinge of um setting powder from Sasha Cosmetics, the buttercup um color. So yeah, so pri I primed, then I add the setting powder just on my T zone areas. Uh, that's why my forehead, my nose bridge, under my eyes, and around my mouth, okay? Alright, so let's start with the eyebrows, my arch nemesis. <laughs> so let's see who wins, okay? Me versus eyebrows. You will tell me if I won or if it won, okay? So the first thing... I used this fully and I just um, combed the my eyebrow heads up. Then I added the LA Girl Fawn in the color Fawn at the top and bottom of the eyebrow just to um, just to sculpt it out a bit. I did it, I did it on both sides, so you see there. I use a color that is a bit lighter than my my skin color. Um, I decided to remove the, this one because I didn't like how it looked. They weren't looking like sisters. You know, eyebrows need to look like sisters, okay? Or twins. And they weren't even looking as if they were in the same family. So I decided to, <laughs> to erase it and reapply, okay? It seems like this eyebrow is a tad bit thinner than the other one. Yeah. So you add the concealer yes so after yes. you added your concealer i then got a brush and blended it out and i picked up a brown eyebrow pencil and shading ever so lightly just to fill in the brows a bit and give it a little bit more definition okay once that is done i moved on to my eyelids okay i got um this is a cheap eye, eye primer, um, eyeshadow primer. Got it at the Bruce Street Mall. I think it was like $20 something for it. I made $20, I think $20 for it. And I applied it on my lid. Then I started applying the colors. Now, the very first color in the Wahala palette by Juvia's Place is the color Sis. And I, as you can see, I am, I am applying the the color sis on both my eye, my eyelids first okay so this will be our first color okay now time for the second color and it goes right at the very corners the corner most areas of your eyelid um it is called the gossip 
eyeshadow very beautiful very metallic golden metallic um yeah so as you can see i'm applying it i already did um one of my eyes i don't know the other eye that, le that is left to do you see that i am um, just keeping it just at the corner most area and then you're gonna leave the center part of your eyeball <laughs> of your eyelid for the green now the green color is called fighter a next metallic kind of metallic color it's beautiful 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 so you put the green in the center so you start with the yellow the gold the gossip then move on to fighter all right and then at the very end the further the furthest part of your eyelid you will have the um the cis color you'd f that you use as your base okay so you have the three colors showing i added more colors where i thought um necessary i did some more of the cis and i just blended blend 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 okay that's the key for eyeshadow to make sure you blend now it's time for the key player in any makeup tutorial the foundation i am also using another juvia's place item it is the I Am Magic Foundation Velvety Matte Foundation. Je suis magique in the shade Kampala 340. Again, that is Kampala 340. It is not my perfect match, but when you live in the Caribbean, you don't have the luxury of going into any New York based store to try on foundation. So you have to just wing it and hope that it it matches you as best as best as possible okay so even though it's not the best the most matching foundation i ever own i really like it i love the coverage it is not heavy it's breathe it's breathable it works well with other products i just love it okay as you can see i am stippling the foundation into my skin i'm not using the sweeping motion but um, i prefer the stippling method i think i get um, it gives me the most out of my foundation all right without um, disturbing anything that's under the under okay so that's what that's my favorite method the stippling method so just stipple it into your skin until it blends okay all right now time to add some dimension and light to our faces now you're gonna use the same fawn concealer the LA girl and put it on the TT zone areas on your forehead nose bridge um emote uh, upper lip area under your eyes and you're gonna blend it in guys okay stipple again stipple it in until you no longer see it oh my gosh guys don't mind my weird faces <laughs> all right so you see i'm gonna make make please ensure that you get properly the con the concealer under your eyes make sure you look up and then show everything is blended so let's try to avoid any cracking and creasing of your of your products uh, throughout the day that's so that's so and show longevity okay when i wear my makeup i want it to last me for how long i'll be outside okay so please ensure you get your on the eye areas correctly now it's time to add the buttercup setting powder by sasha cosmetics um setting powders are essential in ensuring that your makeup lasts especially in hotter climates so you need to put it again on the t-zone areas that's where you tend to have the most oil especially if you're oily girl i'm not oily i'm more like a combination but still you still need very oily or dry you still need to apply some setting powder you can bake it or you can just um put it in and, and take it out one time i tend to bake under my eyes okay so I, i'm gonna do a video giving you the difference between baking and um setting so i tend to bake mostly okay so then i then added my contour contour from i use the um, black opal stick the carob the carob color so Make sure you blend it out, guys. Blend all the concealer. I'm using a flat round brush by AOA Studio. All right, make sure you get it in. Um, just steeple it into your skin. Then I'm using an AOA Studio um, translucent, translucent 
setting powder on the areas I just contoured just to make sure it stays in place throughout the day. I also contoured my nose for this look. Uh, make sure to make sure your line is straighter than what I did so it would not look crooked. <laughs> okay. So I place I place the contour under my my neck, neck like what do you call it area neck area my chin area just to sculpt me my face a little bit more okay to hide that double chin area all right so please ensure that you thoroughly blend that contour properly don't forget any area one time i forgot to um blend the contour under my neck and i went out i was so embarrassed okay no one noticed but i re i just it just dawned on me when i was out i forgot to blend and i was like oh my gosh so don't forget make sure you, you blend that area under your neck as well okay don't be like me i'm teaching you guys okay now make sure you get that on get that nose contour straight as possible okay just add back shadows into your just follow the natural shadows of your face okay Alright guys, now you have to set everything in so that there will be no moving of the product throughout the day. Alright, um, you need to put finishing powder. I'm using one from Sasha Cosmetics the, in, the, in the color Honey. Okay, so just put it throughout the, the darker most areas of your face, the top of your forehead, um, just the outer color. The outer, corners of your face okay and the cheeks area you know like i got second kind of contour just to get everything you know nice and right and then with when everything when all the powder is finished on the brush i just pass it over my entire face okay just to get everything nice so i added a little bit of the la girl concealer again the elephant just to Define my brows a bit more. Okay. I decided to remove some of the eyeshadow. I didn't like it to reach all the way on top of there. So I decided to move some of the eyeshadow. As you notice, it's no longer touching my eyebrows. <laughs> okay. I just used a, my simple makeup wipe and removed it and bring it down a bit. Then I'm adding. Then I'm adding some um, bronzer. I'm using a NYX eyeshadow palette. I don't have a bronzer, guys. Okay. So I add a bronzer like on like the areas you contoured around like, around that area. Then I use a next color, a kind of reddish color, for my blush. All right, guys. I'm using a fluffy a fluffier brush to apply the blush make sure you apply it on the uh, the apples of your cheeks make sure you go on an upwards uh, um movement uh, direction because you tend to if you go downwards you tend to drag your face down and you always want to lift your face as much as possible so make sure you apply your blush going upwards okay like to your temple area nice then one of my other most favorite parts of doing makeup is my highlighter okay i'm using the one from uh, posh quality i don't have one from Juvia's place unfortunately but i'm using the one from posh quality just above the blush area where you did your, where you added your blush the my nose bridge my cupid's bow on the, my chin just a tad bit and yes, it can shine bright like a diamond. It's one of my favorite highlighters that I've ever owned. I love it. And a little goes a long way. Alright guys, please don't mind my scattered makeup on my bed. It's just like, just for easy access. <laughs> Alright, now I'm taking some of the same highlight posh gold here. And put it in on the bottom of my, um, my eyebrows there. 
it's a little highlight i love that look um now it's time for to apply the same eyeshadow colors at the bottom of my at the bottom lid okay so the same colors i must i just use the dark one the cis color use it first smoke it out and then i added the fight of the green because based on the la negra um the amara la negra for, um video but mostly the green they they worked with under the under the um or for the bottom lid okay guys the colors in the videos are so pigmented and so bright but i have to remember that they're using all sort of editing softwares and better lightings and better camera quality so but it's the same it's the same palette they're using i'm using as well it's just I, my own is more of a real a realistic look guys are you hearing this noise outside i'm not i'm gonna be so excited eh? <laughs> anyways yeah so let's make sure you blend out that bottom colors and yeah you're good to go <laughs> look at my funny faces guys how are you how was your easter i hope it was good uh, for me i stayed home I did, I did not even go to church i know i'm so bad anyways um yeah but i had a very restful easter i'm glad for the rest i'm always tired <laughs> okay so after once you're satisfied with your with your shadows you then will add what um spray your face with your setting spray i am using one from la girl okay so i really like it it's my everyday setting spray i have others that um are used for like special occasions the more expensive brands but the la girl is just fine okay Now it's time to do our eyeliner. I'm using a black eyeliner from, I think, I believe, Elf Cosmetics. Okay. I am not a body when it comes to eyeliner. I normally wing it. Sometimes it's a hit. Sometimes it's a even bigger miss. Okay. Um, the first one was, was done correctly. However, you will see the disastrous train wreck. Which, which I'm doing right now. It looks hor horrendous. <laughs> Anyways, you live and learn. Okay? It's practice. Practice makes perfect, right? Good. Okay, now we're gonna get a black eyeliner pencil. I think I think it's a lip liner actually, but anyways, it can be used for different purposes. Okay, so my eyes my eyes are running, guys. I have bad allergies like year round, so yeah, it's a struggle doing my eyes when it comes to makeup. They're always running. So get it on a black pencil and just line the bottom the bottom lid as well as the top. Now, um, just get your favorite mascara and use it on your upper and bottom lashes. I do the upper the upper lashes quite well. However, I suffer. I am in the front seat. I am the driver of the struggle bus when it comes to my bottom lashes. I cannot get it. I cannot get it. Okay, no matter what technique I use, I cannot get it. So I tend to just leave it, just pat it a few times. And pray for the best. <laughs> now, time for your lashes. The lashes really um, makes the look. Uh, it really just brings everything together. Okay, that's the first time I'm getting a lashes so so easy. Oh my gosh, guys! I didn't suffer this time. I got it like first try. Okay, I don't remember the name of the lashes. I bought it locally here in Grenada. Okay, just put on whatever lashes you have. Then let's move on to our lips. I'm lining my lips using the Cola lip from lip liner from Juvia's Place. I really love that um, lip liner. It goes well with many other lipsticks and glosses, etc. 
um in the video they used a sort of like brown nudish color however i opted for a more pinky undertone color so i use um this color super stiff from maybelline i will attach the name in the description box then i got um, an aoa studio concealer and i plop that there in the middle and you know you see right I pop it in there you mix it up together blend it together you can use a brush you can use your lips and then i topped it off using the fenty my favorite lip gloss i love it it's almost done i need to repurchase the fenty as well yes guys so this is the final look what do you think um i really enjoyed doing this look for you guys um my favorite has got to be the eyes i love the eyes i love the lips as well it's quite an easy um, pro um process what look would you like you would you like me to try next okay drop it down in the comments below and i will do it show no problem all right guys please think? subscribe to alamo tv comment what look you would like me to try next uh, also let me know what is your favorite part of this uh, look guys um why not please as well tag Juvia's Place on different social media platforms. I would love them I would love for them to see what I've done using their products. Okay. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Bye. Have a blessed week.